Yo, what's up, peeps? This is episode 87 of the Stream is Paradise podcast. I'm Hazy. We got Clutch and Bo. What's good, boys? Yo, yo, yo. What up, everybody? Yo, there's some crazy what's shit tired? happening in the world today. The world of entertainment. Why do you get tired from work? Yeah, kind of. Uh, we, I, I was in, in uh, Tennessee all week. Tennessee, wow. I had to, uh... The hell's in Tennessee? Up. I know, right? <laughs> we like, we tell like, uh, like, so I support, I guess, you know, I guess I support Acer for work, so they have a little partner summit. So they brought us down, took us out to taste test, taste test a bunch of bourbon in Tennessee, take us out to a couple dinners, and then have, like, a day full of meetings yesterday. So I was out a little late drinking, and then I had to wake up at 5 to uh, fly home. Nice. Almost. I probably should have booked a later flight. <laughs> That's crazy. But it was good. It was fun. All right. Well, I'm glad you had fun. A little busy. I was a little busy. <laughs> I want to take a nap. Actually, I want to talk to you about something real quick before we get to our, our topics. Guys, Super Bowl this Sunday, right? Uh, I, yep. You guys heard about the, the 13 conspiracy theory? Bum, bum, bum. What do you mean? Like that it's all rigged? So in a way, right, which is kind of like I want to talk to you guys is about it. The NFL, they, is the NFL always rigged? That's what I'm saying. This is like kind of a crazy thing to think about, though. Like I saw in a video on TikTok or somebody tweeted it out, and I think everybody's been saying it ever since, right? So peep it, right? The two teams, Chiefs and the 49ers. That's who's playing. I got the Chiefs money on that because, like, Mahomes a uh, GOAT. However, this NFL supposedly is all rigged, right? And... Taylor Swift is the main attraction of this, okay? So let's talk, let's talk about Taylor Swift. The whole 13 about it, right? It, it makes it kind of crazy. But what is the 13 even about? I don't even understand so, what that is. Taylor Swift, let's start it off with that. She was born on December 13th, okay? And as growing up, she always said her favorite number was number 13, okay? So on her 13th birthday, it landed on Friday the 13th. Ba -ba -bum. That's what the 13th started coming from, right? She's also said in the interview that her first album went gold in 13 weeks. Okay? Ba -ba -ba -bum. Where are you now going we, with this? Now, now we get with the Super Bowl, right? So how like the NFL is rigged and Taylor Swift's been involved with this whole thing, right? Guys, this is Super Bowl 58. What's 5 plus 8? <laughs> 13. I'm feeling a stretch coming on. Yeah, it but just... Like, but it, that's, that's what the conspiracy is about, like how it's supposed to be rigged and she's supposed to win the Super Bowl, basically, because Taylor has been involved the whole time. The Super Bowl is actually on February 11th. What's 2-11? 13. Bop-bop. You think that these Illuminati fucking super celebrities are, are planning all this stuff to make it the, to so be 13? What, so, what, so what is 13? Is the score going to be 13-0 Chiefs? So that's not, I mean, I don't know about the future stuff. It's just things that are like <laughs> apparently with the game right now, why it's supposedly rigged. I don't know. I don't believe it, but it's like kind of crazy how this 13 is involved with, with everything, oh, I, right? I believe the NFL is rigged because the mafia tells them what to do so that they can make the mafia money. Mafia is not a thing anymore. <laughs> I don't think so. It I mean, can't I exist like the make, way it used to. They make the most money with, with, with Taylor Swift being here, right? Why do um, they so, make the most money with Taylor Swift being there? Hold on, hold on. Let's, 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 go, let's go back to the 13th. The Super Bowl halftime oh, show. But for real, right. I want to know what her dating Travis Kelsey does for the Super Bowl. It brings in viewers, and that's for what, what they want. For Why are people going to watch it for, for her? <laughs> what is she doing besides sitting she there makes, yelling at, at the fucking... It's the Swifties, bro. They're really army out there. Like, the beehives, those fans go crazy for it. That's why the Chiefs' numbers and jerseys all went up and everything like that. That's why they're saying it's rigged for the Chiefs to win, to make everybody overall happy, right? But the other part, okay, look, they're playing against the 49ers. It was 4 plus 9. 13. <laughs> you want to believe this shit. You want to believe it. But isn't it a coincidence? Look at this. It's not a coincidence. You can, you're going to find Jeez. shit. If you look seed. hard enough, you'll find shit. Like, if you look hard enough, you'll make anything out of anything. Somebody spent a lot of time putting that together. I know. You know who tweeted it, too? Um, Ice Cube's son, I think, tweeted it. He's a What's conspiracy name, theorist. 
Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. So, like, I, that's what I said. I, I see a lot of TikTok videos on how to look through the sources. I actually looked through all this stuff, and I, I just find it crazy because, like I said, another thing is 49 of the first seed, Chief is the third seed. That's 13 again. Another one. But you really I'm think gonna... you really think that that whoever is pulling the strings, right? And now let's just break down what you just said real quick. All right, let's just break it all down. All of these yeah. thirteen, right? All of these number thirteen things, right? That's a lot of planning. If you're gonna make thirteen appear in all these places on purpose and do it subliminally, you're working overtime. Okay, so <laughs> so let's say this. Ready? You throw in the you, you 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 do all that shit, right? Taylor Swift somehow knows the person who can write the script that's going to get approved for the NFL, right? And she talked to them like, "Hey, listen, I'm dating this guy now, and he works for the Chiefs, <laughs> and my favorite number is 13, and I'm really hoping you can just work that into the script this year." You know what I mean? Work that into the script this year because it's my favorite number. Like, really think about that. You believe that that's happening? And I don't believe it. I, I, I was just, like I said, I brought this and I just thought it was so funny how everybody is involved with each other. I wanted to get your opinions, most of it. Uh, I think she's going to win because Mahomes is a good quarterback. But it's crazy how those things line up with each other, though, you know? like She's generated it, an somebody... equivalent brand value of $331 million for the Kansas City Chiefs. So, so all the Swifties are buying are buying merch and shit like that. Yeah, like Kelsey jerseys. Kelsey jerseys. The yeah. most money. It's That's why Chiefs, it's not even Chiefs merch. It's just Kelsey merch. I didn't even want the Chiefs to make it to the Super Bowl. They should have been lost already. It was just like I said. It's crazy how they bought all this shit involved with it. I don't know. I think. I think. <laughs> so for three hundred and thirty million, I guess. I guess maybe. Well, that's just the Chiefs, though. It's not. You're maybe talking it was about the to be bigger puppet. Three hundred and thirteen million. It was not too far. <laughs> they, they overshot. <laughs> no, I think the Chiefs are gonna win. Uh, or have a good chance of winning. I think. I think Kelsey or Kelsey fucking Mahomes. Probably looking at how many times he's been to the Super Bowl, how many chances he's get to win the experience. He's probably, man. Got the eye, he's probably got the eye on the prize of saying, like, I do have a shot at beating Brady's Brady's records. Like oh, oh, definitely. He, I mean he has I to feel so. that way. He's already yeah, he's, almost he's up he's to like tying six. his playoff records already. So like That's what I'm saying, he's already six years in, right? He's in mm -hmm. a six year football. Only six years, man. Plenty of years ago. But it doesn't mean that he's not going to have a down a downside too. Like he might not hit the well, Super Bowl well, every fucking year. But no, but here's the thing: is if when Kelsey if Kelsey retires this year, because that that's a rumor as well in his thirteenth year. Um, Travis Kelsey's been playing for thirteen, 13 years. For real? I don't even know about that. that I literally just made that up. Wait, You're that such a fucking asshole. He's like twenty five, <laughs> isn't he? No, isn't he a fucking know. kid? No, I don't, man. I don't, I don't know how many. Guys. I don't know how many years he's been playing for. I just made that up. I just just threw that out there. But no, I did hear he's thinking about retiring. Like it's a possibility. And I think if Kelsey retires, Mahomes, like, uh, loses his. He's gonna, uh, need somebody. he's gonna need some help to get back here next year. All right. He has 13 yeah. touchdowns. He goes for 13 <laughs> yards every single time he holds the ball. He hits 13 <laughs> seconds. All that stuff happens, right? But listen, so I want to take this. I want to take a. I want to talk about something else, right? There was some fucking straight up GTA heists happening on the internet over the last week, to the same person. Thirteen times. Twice it happened. <laughs> twice, twice in like a weekend. Twice That's in a crazy. weekend. Oh, wait, what were we doing? We're talking about Aiden Ross. He's not on Twitch anymore. He's on Kick and. I don't fuck with Kick because of the way that they have incorporated stake into into Kick. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they really do promote gambling over there. And uh, if you're a kid that's watching somebody gamble and they're gambling with like sponsored money and they don't really have, it's just the concept in, of loss and addiction is not necessarily expressed to children watching people go through this stuff. I've spoken about my point of view on this before, but Aiden Ross is over on kick. He's one of the owners. I don't watch him on kick, but he's also not even near my age group. I'm, I could be the fucking guy's father, literally. I think he's like 21 years old. I could have had a kid when I was 15. You know what I mean? Easily. Aiden Ross? Yeah. He's only 21. 21 or something like that. So anyway, 20... 
21 Savage, right? 21 Savage and Playboy Cardi, both are two mainstream rappers, right? Because nowadays what happens is mainstream artists, uh, all that stuff, they come onto streams, the bigger streamers, right? Kai Sinat, Aiden Ross, um, XQC, right? They have these super famous collaborations now. I think Nicki Minaj was on Kai Sinat's stream. Um, but there's a lot of things like that happening these days. So, 21 Savage gets, um, gets with Aiden Ross down at the Kick Warehouse, okay? I think they're in L.A. or something like that. L.A. or Miami, I can't remember, okay? But what ends up happening is they gamble on stream playing 2K, okay? They gamble on stream playing 2K, and they're betting an insane amount of money. Right? Hundreds and thousands of dollars is is up for grabs essentially. So are they uh on a team or playing against each they're other? They're playing against each other and they're betting yep. each other. Okay. They're betting each other okay. like you know, in, in uh in person, like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'll beat you this game. Okay. Right. And then they just send each other the money, like Cash App or whatever. You know what I mean? Um so so essentially good night, Harukin. So essentially what happened um was Aiden ended up going up and beating 21 Savage, right? I don't want to play the stream because I realized that even though it's a YouTube video, it's still kick and you can get banned for playing kick stuff on on Twitch. It happened to somebody the other day. Um so I don't want to play it even though it's on YouTube. But anywho, Aiden says I want to play dice, I want to uh play 2K and and he starts whooping, he starts whooping on 21, right? And he's down $400,000, bro. Think about that kind of money for, real quick. $400,000. Oh, man. man, you can get yeah, beat up yeah. and stabbed for $400 around my way. Not even a joke. Mm -hmm. $400 to get you cut up. Thanks. So, so Aiden's like, yo, let's play dice, right? After after he beats him in um in the game and owes him he owes him four hundred thousand dollars he says he says listen I'm gonna give you a buyout right um we don't have to keep betting and you just give me two hundred and fifty thousand and we call it even right so we bought him out for two fifty and that's what he was supposed to uh to play uh to pay him then he gave him a chance to win his money back but let me just let me paint the scene for you right he goes um. Listen, with the money that I'm winning from you, I'm going to buy one of your people a car. I'm going to buy your sister a car. You can pick somebody out of the chat, and I'll buy them a car too. Right? And he's like, and uh, it'll be a nice Tesla. You know, like a nice Tesla. So, so dude's being super generous on top of, like, everything else, even Probably though it's, it's not his money. And giving half of it back. Yeah. Right, to people that he cares about. Right? So, let's fast forward a little bit. 21 Savage starts bitching. He's like, yo, I don't want to play this shit. Um, he's like, I don't want to play this shit. Let's play cards. I want to play high card, low card. Right? So, he opens up a fresh deck of cards. Then he hands that deck of cards to his boy on the side of him. He sits down. He hits his vape a couple times. And then his boy brings in the deck of cards, gives it to him. Aiden says, hey, can I get a table to put a table down? Right? So that's what they do. They put the table down. And um, 21 Savage spreads the cards out. Right? Now, you don't know it at the time, but if you're watching the video, it looks a little strange. 21 Savage has his face glued like close, like imagine the top of my mic is the table, okay? And the cards are on the top of my mic. He's like this. Right, like, like checking through the cards, moving them around, looking at them. He's inches away. Every card he picks is a face card. Every one, he's whooping on Aiden Ross to the point where now he owes, now Aiden Ross owes him 120000 Right? He flipped it. And 21 Savage is saying, you still got to get the gifts that you said you were going to get my people. You can't take that back. 
And he was like, but bro, I was going to do that with money I won from you. Now you want me to just take it out of my pocket? He was like, yeah, you can't yeah, take like, it back. That's like me, like, give, almost giving might some be of crashing. your money back. I might be crashing. I'm crashing. You want me to go live? <laughs> well, we'll see in a second. We'll see if it works or not, if it, if it settles itself out. My bit rate is so low. It just went down to zero. Did you see it? Uh, you, you, it might be loaded. It might, it might have crashed on my end. Hey, right, let's go to my Refresh. end. I'm refreshing. No, no, it's good. All right, cool. Yeah. Refresh. All right. Um, so to the point where he owes him money now, right? And he still need to pay for, uh, pay for these prizes, all that shit, right? So Aiden's getting super aggressive. Not like super aggressive like he wants to fight or anything, but he's mad. He's like, I don't want to play this shit. I want to play dice. I want to play something else. So a little bit of time goes by, and... They start to take notice in the chat that people in the chat are saying, yo, he's cheating. He's cheating. It's a marked deck. The deck is marked. Like, watch out. She's cheating. <clears throat> so you see the manager reach in and grab the deck, go off camera, right? And he's looking at it. He comes back and he's like, yo, Aiden, these cards are marked. And he's like, on God, on God, what? <laughs> right? Oh, God. And he looks at it and he's like, yo, these cards are marked. Like, they are marked. 21 Savage and his friends tried to hustle and rob a streamer on live. On their stream. On live in front of over 100,000 people in front of his fans, Aiden's fans. He was really going to take that money, bro. That dude is rich already. Yep. I just, I can't comprehend the fact that people die over shit like that. And he knew that nothing bad was going to happen to him. And he knew that probably nobody was going to really care, too. Right, because who's? I feel like he ain't getting really much backlash. Like people are still listening to his music. Aiden's still talking nah, to him. Definitely not. I mean, he made it right by giving the money back. But imagine if he wasn't streaming. Like he would have got got. Like Aiden would have noticed. Because like, the stream got it. Like the they were saying the whole time. If the stream. And, then, and then if you watch the clips of it afterwards, of like how he acts looking through it. How he acts afterward, he'll shout to the homie, you'll take the car. So he's got to give him signals, but the homie wasn't paying attention. Right. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. That was crazy. It was no joke. It was no joke, you know, is man. This for it the was... views? Is this all for the views? I don't think so, man, and I'll tell you why. You risk really destroying your reputation fucking around like that. To be considered a thief while you're rich? Like, you're trying to, you're trying to, he tried to take a quarter million dollars off, homeboy. Like $120,000 plus three cars? Mentionally, you have to mark the cars, you know? Like, they, you know, the cars they came with that thought in mind, you know? They came with that. 40 for the K, you the pipe I model, think, please. listen, what I, would, what I would say is that they knew they were going to gamble, and he definitely was prepared. Because I watched the entire stream, and he sat there earlier saying, I want to play high and low. I want to play high and low. I want to play high and low. So he definitely was planting the seed for it, which is insane to me. So who fucks with 21 Savage after that? Do you? I didn't fuck with him before that. Wow. I didn't like him before that either, but still, it's just <laughs> crazy to me to think that somebody can try to rob another person live on the internet for so much money. Maybe and he's just trying to show, say he's, he, I'm still that hood. How is that cool? Uh, but he didn't tell other people too. Like, cool. Earlier that week, he was on stream with Kai Sanat. And he was like, way he different. To, he acted yeah, he way, way different. I'm telling you, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just because of the, the culture difference between Kai and Aiden, right? Like, Kai would have noticed it right away, right? Yeah, like, uh, like yeah. Aiden is way too out of touch with that kind of shit. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm 35 years old, and I've been to jail and did time with, with like some real wild people. I've been in some crazy situations. I'd like to think I would have noticed that too. You know what I mean? I would have been like, what the hell are you so close to those damn cards like that? And hell no, <laughs> don't let your boy touch. Your boy can't pick the card. I don't care what he's picking that, why he's touching the table. I don't know, gambling and, and somebody who gambles and has a little bit of uh, season in them would not have tolerated nearly any like hardly any of that that's my opinion on it you watched yeah. the whole thing clutch 
As I saw like a majority of a lot of clips, basically. Like I didn't see the whole stream, but yeah, from like the be like I said, all the signals. Um, and they, yeah, when you said the guy touching the car too, literally, he's like spreading it out and he couldn't find the car, and the homie come up that one, and then Twenty One Savage gets it afterwards. Yeah, you know? and it's a face card. <laughs> It, it, he looked so stuck afterwards too Because he knew it was kind of fucked He knew he looked bad Right and so after he got caught Aiden called him out Aiden goes yo these are marked And Aiden Aiden said yo Savage I know you wouldn't do that to me Savage straight up did that to him To think that he was that not involved And somehow his boy But yet you're picking every well, single no, face card And your head is no down He's not involved when you're picking the cards Yeah I'm telling you Right, because if not, if you're not, you're not that close looking. He said, he said, he said, um, he said, yo, tell me these aren't, are these scratches on these cards or am I bugging? 21 looked at him mad close and was like, oh, you bugging. Straight, <laughs> straight hood. Like, just like the fucking grimiest shit you could think of. He kept, he kept trying to play it off, make excuses, and then like Sav Aiden was showing them, and then at one point, after all, 21 Savage grabbed another deck cards and tried to play that off. It was deck, deck cards. Didn't he <laughs> open up like, a new deck? Yeah, he, he opened, opened up a new, up deck. A new like, deck. What are you talking about, bro? There's no scratch. No, not that deck. This deck. Over right. There. Like, he did like, do that. <laughs> that was, I don't see bro, these like, scratches you talking about. He's like, not that deck, the other deck. <laughs> like, it was so bad, bro. So bad. And the house just how he acted afterwards. He was just mad stuck. And then he just shot blaming on his boys. He's like, damn, my bad, man. That made me look bad. Who but bought Who brought these cards, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro, that's crazy. Crazy. You gotta talk about the next one though, bro. You gotta talk about the next one. Sour Diesel, it was Kaisa not that lost. To 21 He was gambling With 21 though I didn't know That he was oh, gambling So I saw that too Yeah they gambled But they only gambled Madden games It wasn't dicing They wasn't uh, You know Playing cards It was literally Madden games Kai Was kind of trash though So he actually lost 400 grand too And at the end of the stream He broke his whole setup <laughs> Using oh. a rage And breaks his whole Entire thing So, so wait Is that what you're Talking about D Sour Diesel You're talking about The time Um you're talking about that stream where he fucking... That was before Aiden? That was before Aiden. That's what I'm saying. Savage, Savage was there, and then Tony was having, I think it was Aiden, like the next day or the next two days, something like that. I'm confused. It's a, it's a funny clip, bro, because he literally breaks his whole stream. Down 400 grand. Yeah, I never... I don't, I don't watch these games. Yeah, that stream, yeah, see? That shit was a crazy clip. All right, so I seen... Okay, right. Yeah, I remember. They had, uh, they had a whole thing. I'm a big Madden fan, too, so I like watching Madden gameplay sometimes, but, like, <laughs> just the way they play. Oh, uh, man, that just the raging was, was so hilarious. But I say, he wouldn't test Kai like that. Like, you know, because you know Kai is a different person. Like... Talk about the next situation, Haley. You got to talk about the next one. I, I, um. All right, I, I see it now. I remember when, <laughs> I remember when, um. I remember when he smashed his shit, but I didn't know he actually broke. I'm trying to find pictures of it. My bad. I'm looking silly. All right. Uh, yeah, it was it was a, a crazy reaction. He knew he was gonna lose. He stopped the whole stream, <laughs> and and then you just see him just break his monitor, break his whole shit. Funny what's happening. We recorded afterwards, just looking at him, and just everything broken. Pretty funny, pretty funny clip. You gotta look it up, guys. Yeah, he raged hard, and understandably too, though. Like you know, four hundred grand, fuck. And the thing about Kyle, like, he's always gambling, Madden. He's I didn't trash know that. On he, I didn't know that he gambled like that. I, I mean, I guess it's a new, like, thing that everybody's doing. Like, trying to gamble streamers with money to, per game. I see how few people do it nowadays. You get all those D-Gen gamblers <laughs> to tune in. I think even with 21 Savage and Aiden Ross, like, Aiden was beating him in 2K. I know that. 21 was laughing. Yeah, he was, bro. <laughs> he was not holding back. Dada, dada, call me dada. Just kept saying that. 
Yo, Strongbeard, what's going on, man? <clears throat> so, after um, after that whole thing happened with um, 21 Savage, I just got distracted because I get, I'm, <clears throat> never mind. Listen, after the 21 Savage thing, he had Playboy Cardi on, and Playboy Cardi did a six-minute interview and apparently took a million dollars from him. Not two. Took one million dollars. He gave it to him in a duffel bag in cash. He apparently paid for an interview. Was supposed to get two million dollars. They gave him a million dollars. Right. Call me Dada. To, to, to say some shit like that to him. Let me just backtrack real quick. To say some <laughs> shit like that to, to Aiden while you're cheating is next level fucked up. That's like that. Next <laughs> level fucked up. You are cheating. Literally that cheating. And then you're like, call me Dada, say Dada, right? That's what he said, say Dada. <laughs> so yeah, then a couple days later or whatever, he has Playboy Cardi come on. Apparently, Playboy Cardi does not do interviews like that anymore, right? He don't do interviews. He's he's the super artist or whatever it is. 21 should know better not to do that, especially on stream with over 5K or more watching. 100K we're watching. 100,000 people we're watching. <laughs> Mad people called it out. <laughs> they were like, yo, that's how people from Atlanta give it up. People were in Atlanta, like, watching, going, yo, 21's from Atlanta. He's got Mark's cards. Look at how he's looking. Like, that's crazy. That's just how you know his community rides for him. Like, they're not there just to troll him. People think that everybody in his chat is a troll, and they're not. They love, they love huh. Aiden. They fucking love him. They'll do anything for that kid. Um... Cardi B. Yeah, play Playboy Cardi, not Cardi Playboy B. Cardi. Playboy Cardi. <laughs> apparently, over here. Come make some slack. I'm trying. <laughs> apparently, does not get into interviews like that at all. Doesn't do interviews. Doesn't um, doesn't talk to the media and shit. So the guy from Steak paid him or gave Aiden two million dollars to to do an interview, uh, to to get him to do an interview. And he spent six minutes in silence, standing in the dark with this fucking entourage, kind of making an awkward silence, weird thing where he was just kind of, he had a mask on and he was coming up to the fucking, to the mic like this, like, I love y'all. 2024, good music. New music, 2024, I love y'all. That was it. For six minutes. That's it. Facts, right? What is $2 million worth to people these days? Because that's some crazy inflation, bro. That inflation is crazy. I think it was $2 million and a Ferrari, if I'm not mistaken. And a Ferrari. So that leads me to the next thing that I was just talking about with Clutch, right? We were just talking about the gambling, right? Remember that dude that I just showed you? The, uh, the guy that was losing all the money on stake? That's how, yep, yep. That's how they can do this. That's how they can send $2 million to Playboy Cardi like it ain't nothing. That's how they can give $150 million to Drake. That's how they can do all of these. He's got a global online casino where people are dumping their entire paychecks from the comfort of their fucking PC desk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is just bananas to me. It's bananas to me, man. It is wild. It is wild. Crazy. Yeah, people get gambling is like a drug addiction. But Same you thing. have people like Drake, right? Like Drake who get a certain amount of money to gamble with, right? Like, to gamble with, yeah. And then sit on stream because now Drake is exclusive to kick. He streams on kick and gambles on stake and does it in places like uh, Dave and Buster's and shit. Like, he, they rent out Dave and Buster's and him and his friends just sit there and gamble. And uh, they they gamble with millions of dollars. Like, million-dollar bets. Sometimes he'll win $12 million in one spin. You've seen that shit, right? The clips yeah, of... Yeah, I've seen a lot, a lot of clips with that. Clips of him gambling. So much. Just Fuck, sitting man. there with a hookah. Sitting there with like a hookah. You're not rich. Like, you're not rich already, bro. Like, this is... <laughs> well, the thing is, is that he can't gamble and get any kind of adrenaline rush unless you're gambling with money like that because oh, yeah. that's what creates the the adrenaline right is uh the thought of losing the risk of losing 
right? You have to have a yeah. risk of losing something that's worth something, something. to you. Right, yeah. What's, yeah, what's a hundred bucks, a thousand bucks, like... To a bazillionaire. To bet a thousand dollars is like... Ten dude. bucks for somebody like me and you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just chuck that it shit. Might be a dollar, even. Bruh, I get a rush on the penny machine, bro. I thought that's me right there. I get a rush betting the pennies. <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> well, sometimes I go with the dollar uh, sometimes too. I go back and forth. I go back and forth. <laughs> it's but, not the same penny as it was, but yeah. <laughs> but you, but you get you get a, a rush like legit, just yeah, off, yeah. off of something small. I mean, I came up with two hundred dollars one time on on, on a two dollar bet, I think it was, and it was, I was like. Oh, yeah. Well, but that's I, a I serious come up. That's a serious come I, up. That's a I went from, come up. Yeah, that's a I went from my, my brother's uh, wedding, and I think I went out there. Like, if we went to AC for his, uh, not wedding, his, uh, what is it, like a bachelor party, I guess? And yeah, yeah, it was, it was a two dollar bet. I came out there with like a hundred dollars, and that two dollar bet gave me two hundred, so I had money for the weekend. I was straight after that one. <laughs> I was straight. <laughs> I tell you what, I definitely wouldn't mind um, having some fun at a casino, but. Not um, not doing this type of shit where it's fucking, like, dude, I've seen these people just clicking over and over again, $100 a click. Like, and it's just one after another, bro. You can see it. Their eyes glaze over. Their eyes glaze over. Hazy was showing me the video and shit, and it gave me anxiety, bro, because I can't do that, like. How do you just spend that just like that? You know, I, I take my gamble. time. Like, uh-uh. I, don't, I mean, I always say I don't gamble because I'll, I'll fuck around here or there, but I don't go to Atlantic City and put money on, on anything. I play poker. or I should say I used to play poker. Not against the house, but against people. That's about as far as I would go because I felt like I had a bit more control for that. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, against the house, it's like... You gotta place all the bets up front if you want to win, right? So you're like a hundred dollars out of pocket just to just to see the cards. You play at a poker table with like a one two no limit, so I can see cards for two bucks. <laughs> I played um, at a casino once, like five years ago, um, five six years ago. Chi had a work meeting, and one of the uh, events or like. I forget what they call Expo or something that where they were doing it was at a casino in Jersey or Pennsylvania. I forget. Um, if it was Jersey. It was Atlantic City. It wasn't Atlantic City. Was it was. Beach? It was Mount Airy. What? Mount Airy. Mount Airy. In Pennsylvania. Jersey? Yeah, Pennsylvania. I go there all the time. Okay. Well, well, maybe parks. Parks has got one. There's a casino there's right in my town now. I just I don't yeah, I don't I fuck around. New York has a couple of casinos actually. Yeah, no, they do. It's all digital though. None of it is uh, actual cards. Like colors. Okay. Yeah. So we went to uh, Pennsylvania, and I brought 200 bucks with me or something like that, and I sat down and I played uh, poker, and uh, yeah, I regretted playing after because. You got to learn the house rules of different casinos because they're all different, right? So, so uh, for, for instance, with this particular casino, if you put a dollar on what they call a bonus, right? There's like a separate place for your for a card. If you put a dollar on it, five dollars on it, whatever, you get paid out based on the cards you're dealt, right? Now, if you get pocket yeah, aces or whatever, cards like pockets and and like like suited pairs, or right? You can win based on that. So it's like you get pocket aces, and I didn't know that, right? Mm. That just putting that there, and I wasn't doing it. If I would have put a dollar there, I would have gotten a thousand bucks. If I would have put five dollars there, I would have gotten five thousand bucks, right? And I got pocket aces, and everybody at the table jumped up, realized I didn't put anything on the thing. I was sick. <laughs> like everybody yeah. else is doing it. It's crazy or the odds. Now. Yeah, and I just hit something I, um, nuts and didn't have the bet there because I didn't know. So I hit. Uh, I hit uh, that shit. <laughs> with like, uh, what was it? It was like I hit it once. This is going back many moons ago, and I think it was forty-five to one odds. It wasn't pocket aces, but I hit like uh, I hit one of those bonuses, and I had put five bucks on it. And my boy was like, yo, double it up. And I was like, no. No. Like, I'm not doing it. And he's like, yo, just do it. And I did it. And it was the only thing I won the whole night. I lost every I lost every hand I played, but that bonus had me leaving it a positive number. Yeah. It's almost like that's what you need to work for. And I was like, yo, I literally I handed him like fifty bucks. And he's like, what? I was like, yo, that fifty bucks is like 
twenty percent, right? If I didn't, if you didn't tell me about it, I would have had half the money. Like this is you. <laughs> There's somebody I forget. I saw a YouTube video where guys were like that. They go to the, they go to the, um, to the casino with their boys, and anything over a hundred dollars, they got to share twenty percent with the rest of them. Like they just do that. It's pretty cool, actually. I wouldn't mind. Hmm. I know that Kyle and Dopey used to go to the casino all the time. Dopey used to come back dropping sub bombs when uh, he'd he'd win big. Oh, did good. Yeah. Come up on that shit. He'd come yeah, up. Yeah. He'd, he'd come up doing uh, something at the casino and fucking yeah. My God. Yeah. yeah. I wish One I had the money to go more. Day. My girl's father is actually a big like casino person, like from Mount Airy, because he lives right in the Poconos, so it's like a twenty minute drive from his, his house. But he has accounts over there. He has accounts at AC where he gets like free room, free money. Oh, yeah. Oh, and oh, it, yeah. he comes up a lot of times, though. A lot of times. I came up once for like a thousand bucks. It was my first trip there. So I'm convinced Ow. that's why, right? Yeah, but I'm, I'm convinced I'm convinced that they knew I was new. Well, I was like, hey, I went with a hundred bucks. I was like, if I lose this, then I'm out. Then you're out. I hit, exactly. I hit that, I hit, so I hit that bonus that, that I was just talking about. So I had money to play with. And I went to the craps table. I had no idea what I was doing. Mm. But there was a dude, there was a dude next to me that had a big ass stack of chips. So I just scaled down and did I, whatever he said, I said. I, I, whatever he did, I did. And I uh, won a couple hundred uh, bucks and I was like, I was like up a thousand and I looked at my boy and I was like, yo, it's uh it's about that, that's yeah, like, I'm good. Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm not greedy, man. I'm know. good. I just the next and I'm ready to go. Once you get to that limit right there, that you you know you you're up, it, get out before you know you get sucked I used in to more. Have this, uh, you know, so this is going back when I was literally like 21, 22. My my boy that I was with that night, he actually ended up declaring bankruptcy. Uh, he had he had to get yeah, the payout much, sheets. Man. He had to get the payout sheets from from Atlantic City in order to do the bankruptcy, and he had lost 200k in two years. Damn, yeah, see, that's, I, I guess you sucked so, in like that though, like for real, like because that's. Because it was nice, you would come home like 40, 50 G's up, so you would, you would, uh, you would yeah. go do that again, and then you give it all back, and then some. Give it all back. He, he, man, he had his own business. He, he made good money, but 200 G's in two years, that's 100 G's a year. People didn't even make that. I know. And you just he, lost that. he lost it. That's why <laughs> every time I go. You know, like you said, he had he had the rooms, he had the you know what I mean. He had yeah, the, yeah. the special treatment. What are you talking That's about? What I'm a buddy of mine. So that, that trip that I went, uh, I, I, that was like my, my first time in AC, and I won like a thousand bucks. I hit, I hit that um, that bonus on the Texas Hold'em, and I got up like a couple hands after that, and I went and played um, craps, and I didn't know what I was doing. I never played it before, but there was a dude with a stack of money. Like a, like a big ass stack of chips and whatever he did i just threw out like i scaled down right and i just threw out money and said what he said and i ended up i ended up being like a, a like a 1k a thousand bucks for the night and i was like i was like ready to go I looked at my boy i was like let's like legitimately let's leave like i'm good 10x my money and i'm good but i was still in the clutch like, he actually lost because he declared bankruptcy because of gambling yeah that's and it'll take your life <laughs> He had to get the payouts from the city. Like, he had to get the sheets that t- showed the loss to give to the attorneys, and he lost 200K in two years. It was, like, oh. 194, if I remember correctly. Oh. And I'm saying, like, people can't even... People would love to make that in a year, and you're out here just... Losing it. Fucking giving it away. But I was like, you know, like, like for me, I, I went down there a handful of times. This is why I don't gamble. Like, I watched this dude, like, fuck up a lot. Uh, he was self-employed. He's a carpenter. He at least he was able to bounce back and you know keep the business. Uh, well, put the business in his girlfriend's name to keep in order to keep it. <laughs> that was it. But uh, we would go down and get like the special treatment, dude. This dude, like you know, we would go down. He would just literally call on the way down and say, "Hey, I'm coming with one or two or whatever." They'd have dinner reservations ready when we got there. Sweet, like it was pretty sick. They but, serve a lot of prime rib in sure. casinos. It, it was lot. sick for me because I didn't lose the money. You know what I mean? Like I didn't have to pay the two hundred G's to get that treatment. Yeah, yeah. they gave him that for kind him, of treatment because imagine. he lost every fucking penny he brought in there. If you're a big yeah, loser yeah, or a big winner, they want to keep you there. Well, yeah. you know, there's like there was, there's nights he would win. He'd hit like you know oh, he'd have like a twenty to forty G night, right? But then he'd go back later and give it and then more. Right, he'd lose right? everything so like, he won and then some. 
And then some. So, so that, yeah, that's I mean, that's how you're down 200, right? It's not because you're down 200 out of, like, winnings. You're, like, he was, minus the winnings, he was down 200K. So that's just crazy. So with the way that this gambling is working on stake these days, because I I'm I stay away from kick. I don't encourage anyone to, to go to kick. I would never encourage people to be streaming there or use stake. I am totally against it. But it doesn't mean that I don't watch it from afar occasionally to see what's going on in the sense of, like, you know, what's going on in the dramatics of it all. So they have these streamers over there who have stake sponsorships. And I had to ask some people today, what is a stake sponsorship? Like, how does it work? Right? These motherfuckers are cunning, man. They're cunning as hell. So they'll give you $600 of uh, free play per day. Right? But they do it like this, where they give you $200 in the morning, then $200 in the afternoon, then $200 at night. Right? Every single day. To get you to play that 200, they'll let, <laughs> you lose it, then you're going to put your own money in, right? That's the yeah, idea. Or you wait and come back later, but you're going to keep coming back. <laughs> you're going to keep coming back. So I literally watched this, um, this YouTube video of this guy named Bossman Jack. I was talking about it in the server today a bit. He's got a $4,500 stake sponsor. I don't know what that turns into daily. Um or weekly, it's weekly, $4,500 weekly. I think it's $600 a day, right? Is that what $4,500? Is that what that is? 42. Something like 4, that. Whatever, Some right? It's a lot of yeah. money, and it, it's yep, weekly. Yep. They give it to him every day. So I just watched this guy fucking wait 19 minutes for his, uh, his 200 bucks or whatever. Right? Like, he was sitting there begging his chat like he was looking for a crack hit. Please, somebody can, can somebody be out there to help me? Somebody's got to be out there to help me. You can help me. I know someone's out there. He's got 1,200 people watching him. He's sitting there begging like he's waiting for the next hit. I don't know how else to describe it. Right? And then before you know it, somebody in his chat will send him $15, $20, 500 bucks, whatever, and he'll lose it in one spin, sit there, beg, wait, you know. Then he'll show that yeah. stake is ruining his life. He'll show everything that just happened, right? He put in $1,000 here, lost it, put in $1,000 here, lost it, went up 8000 lost it all, put in another $1,000, went up to 30000 lost 15000 then chipped away at the other fifteen over the next, like, you know, hour or whatever. 1000 bucks at a time. Dude, he lost and gained the eight thousand dollars in ten minutes twice. I can't imagine that kind of roller coaster of adrenaline to just be shooting up. Oh, 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 oh! No, no, no! You know, it's, Fuck. Like, it's not even just adrenaline. Yes. You got dopamine rushes mixed in, like so many like chemical imbalances in a short period of time. Dude, I cannot imagine the ride. I can't imagine the ride, bro. He's got to just, the dopamine's got to be leaking out of his nostrils at this say, point. It's not, because yeah, that's got to be wild because it's like, all right, if you start here and you go up here. And right, then you, you it's, shoot it's a, it's down. A, it's a marginal jump, right? But then you shoot down and then you can get back here. Like that jump is huge. It's huge because the, the first half of the jump is probably bigger than the second half, right? Because you're like, I was negative. Now I'm. I got that back and I'm over. It's funny you say that because he was just in his stream earlier going, who else can come back like that? Who else? I call me the comeback kid. Right? Yeah, and there's got to be so mm -hmm. many different like chemicals and emotions. Like, he went from 8,000 to like 500, back up to 9,000, and then lost it all in 10 minutes. 10 minutes, bro. That's the crazy. video is 10 minutes. It's not edited. It's not edited. There's no jumps in it. As crazy as these these emotions sound, I have no like. I'm like, yeah, it sounds cool, but not. I'd love me. to feel it. I'd love to know what that's like, right? I tell you what, I was so nervous. Somebody else's money. Like, it's nerve wracking <laughs> watching it. That's why I said I was. I had anxiety with watching that shit. Uh -uh, watching can't. it is like watching a train wreck that you just can't turn away from. 
it's it's Just disturbing. It's really it's disturbing, man. The, uh, the the highs and lows are just it's just massive. It's massive. It's too crazy. The real thing too, though, gambling is addiction. You gotta have problem. Get help. Oh no, so I'm saying do like, it. just Don't do it. It, it. It's just as bad, if not worse, than drugs, right? Because I feel like with drugs, you, there's a physical feeling when when for the low, right? For I guess there's a physical feeling for the low losing a bunch of money. I wouldn't know. I don't. I didn't do it. <laughs> Can I tell you what it's like to win that much money or, or to lose that much money? Can't. I go to Atlantic City now, like, and, and since, like, my buddy's problem, you know, this is when I was, like, 21, 22, so I've learned. I've, like, since then, I, like, I just don't I don't go crazy. I bring 100 bucks, and I go, if I lose this 100, like, I'm, when this 100 has gone, I'm done, right? Because I treat it as a transaction. Like, I go there knowing I'm going to spend that money. That's, That's good, it. Wolf. And I'm okay with that. I go, how much, how much am I willing to lose, like, or to spend on this trip? And that's where I cut the line. That's my mindset, saying every time I go to the casino, I only have this amount. If I ever come up, I'm fine. But if I lose this, well, that's what I'm saying. It. I, like, I'll, <laughs> if I could, if I came up 10 G's and I lost that 10 G's, like, I'd kick myself, right? But I wouldn't go home down 10 G's. You know, yeah, like, I, I knew what I, yeah, I left. Exactly. I came with this and I, I left with that, right? And nope, leaving with zero. Not negative zero. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to anything under. Can't. I mean, we got too many kids to do that shit. <laughs> you fuck around and lose your money? You fuck yeah. If I lose my house, some crazy shit. Well, this dude that I'm talking hey, about lives with his fucking what? fam, lives with his parents, and he's just so abusive. He's just like, Mom, shut the fuck up. Just like a step, like the stepbrother type of thing. No, what was that? That wasn't stepbrother. That was old school, wasn't it? Mom, the meatloaf. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, that very nice. As I say, the fucking meatloaf. Bye. Yeah, like that. He's just like that, bro. He's got no door on his. He's got holes in his walls. Guy's a mess, dude. <laughs> Guy's a mess. I just can't imagine Young? living like that. Early, I don't have no clue how like old he early? is, to be honest. Yeah, like he's probably no, no older than thirty. I don't think he's That's older what, than it thirty. It was wedding crashers. It was wedding crashers. Kind oh, of wedding, wedding crashers, right? Because he was Frank the Tank in old school. Cause yeah, because because it was uh, he just played that one part like when uh, Vince was it Vince Vaughn no it was uh, yeah Vince Vaughn's like out like kind of out of the game and Owen Wilson's character is like going to him like what's next and like funerals <laughs> funerals yeah <laughs> he's like you guys are still doing weddings funerals are the way to go <laughs> I get laid all the time at funerals. <laughs> Yo, that, that a, that's sick. That was a good movie. It's a it sick. A it's movie. a sick fucking. Uh, it's just a sick. Like, who thought of that? You know what I mean? Who is the one that wrote that? What's up, Tomb? Uh, Welcome Step Brothers. Like you said, Step Brothers and uh, Talladega Nights. Adam two McKay. Of my Adam McKay, John C. Riley, and um, Will Ferrell. I think Will, Adam. Dude, I think. I've said this, and I'll say, like, I'm not afraid to say it to a bunch of people, but I don't think Talladega Knights or Step Brothers would be would it be hits if it wasn't for John C. Riley. Do you want to know I what I can't think, wait but, for? I can't wait for John so, uh, C. Riley and Will Ferrell to remake Grumpy Old Men in ten years. That's what I can't wait for. They're gonna uh, remake is Grumpy Old. Is, is that a plan? I, no, plan it's it? gotta be though, right? They gotta it's do gotta it. Be, <laughs> they gotta <laughs> do it. So, they are so good together. <laughs> you like, guys know Grumpy like, Old Men, right? Grumpy and Grumpy yeah. Old Men. Clutch, have you seen that? You no, haven't seen it. Go, go to. Just, it's probably too white for him. It is too I'm white for young. him. No, white. it has nothing to do with it. It's your, it's your culture, bro. You don't watch fucking old white men. I guess. Growing I guess up. not. I'm a Spanish guy, so yeah, you're right. <laughs> you fucking. You probably watch. Um, you ever seen Dennis the Menace? <laughs> no, actually, I haven't actually. No. Oh, thank you. My point proven. <laughs> Miss uh, Miss Doubtfire is another one probably. I haven't seen Miss Doubtfire. There's a lot of movies oh, I haven't Doubtfire seen. Actually, yeah, Robin Williams is hilarious. I'm surprised you haven't seen. There's a lot of movies. Fucking like, hey, Dennis the Menace, bro. <laughs> fucking white ass little fucking piece of shit kid. Yo, Man, I'm telling man. you, Dennis, I feel like I've seen clips Dennis of that shit though. Bro, Dennis if he was Spanish, bro, his mom would have beat his ass, and that's that. Yeah, that's facts. What I'm saying, yo. <laughs> Spanish it wouldn't have worked with the Spanish kid. It wouldn't have worked. There's no Dennis the Menace in Spanish culture in any of it. <laughs> Not wrong. It's like you're too goddamn scared of grandma for that. 
Yeah, misbehave at the neighbor's house. Mr. I dare Wilson you. Mr. Wilson would have fucking bitch beat your ass, too. Oh. And your mom would have let it happen. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> so that relatable. movie is, bro. Now I feel relatable. <laughs> what, 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 movie would, what movie is even remotely close? Did you did you see A Million to One? Growing up, A Million to One. A Million? Yeah. A Million? No, no, no. Never that's, seen a, that's a movie from the 90s that I loved growing up. It's called A Million to One. The guy um, the guy gets a um, a check for a million dollars, but he's told he can't cash it. It's like a social experiment, but it's a comedy. So, like, this poor guy that, like, sells oranges on the, on the side of the road gets a million dollar check from a guy in a limousine, and he walks around showing people, and, like, everybody starts getting nice to him and giving him things, and it's a pretty cool movie. It's on YouTube. You can watch it, but it's a... Uh, it was a movie from the 90s that I watched um, growing up that was on, like, TV and shit. It was a good movie. I forget the actor that's in it, but he was a Spanish uh, A Night at the Roxbury. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to say that. Kayla has on a comment from the movie, and I, was, I thought it was real she was, she was saying. I forgot what she said, actually, but, yeah, i never seen that either. I was say, the only thing he's probably seen Wait, is we, in, we have uh, to, we, Home every, Alone because they plastered that on TV at Christmas time. Of course, Home Alone is every, it's Christmas time. Every different. time we talk That's about movies, saying. Clutch hasn't seen it. Old movies, okay? You got the yeah, old. Get it right. Movies that are older than Get Clutch. Right. Clutch. Exactly. Clutch, how old are you? Old movies. How old are you? I'm 30, I just turned 30, okay? You're I'm a, 30 I'm a, years old. You're not young. I'm a... I'm a early '90s baby, okay. So it's like you can't even say early '90s. Era. You can't even say early '90s baby. It is early '90s. '93s early '90s. You're 30. Yeah, but it's still it's early '90s, different well, you're, generations. You're, yeah, what '87 and '93 is that baby. different? Yeah, but but here's the thing. No, but growing thing, up to it, I would have watched those age movies. You know, I would watch my era. '90. Well, your era is baby, what? What is your era? Late '90s. What do you consider I mean, your era? Then 99, 2000, 2001? Probably. Like, those Those are probably my years. Did you ever like watch Surf the... Ninjas? Yes, yeah, Surf Ninjas is a great movie. Like, okay. great movie. So I love that one. <laughs> Surf Ninjas was made in 96. Old a Million to One probably came out in 94 or some shit. Power Rangers. Born in East L.A.? How about that one? Born in East L.A.? You guys know that movie? <laughs> Isn't that yeah, a, what about White Man Can't Jump? I'm trying to think of old movies in general. Hold on, hold on. He missed everything before 97. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That, I mean, to be fair, it probably... You think about it at that time, like, four or five. That's when you really start remembering shit, you know? What about... Yeah, my parents yeah, always, Rangers, like, particular Rangers, movies. They, they didn't really, like, spread out. Like, I had a Spanish household once again. Okay, so, so like, what those, is the movies that you had in your house growing up that you would throw on? Somebody comes over to your house, a like friend, a and Stitch, right? A friend wants to watch a <laughs> movie. You got five <laughs> movies to pick from. Just What's in your house? Movies. So, well, no, because they had a VCR. Let me think movies. Up okay, in so Smoke, Cheech and Chong. No, Bad bro, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not a kid's wait, wait. movie. Bad Boys is a, a ninth movie. Ba Bad Boys was 1995, by the way, so you were fucking two years old. You can't yeah. be talking like... Like, like, you're a fucking... I, I was five watching it at that time. I didn't watch it that But that's years old, my obviously. point. It doesn't matter when the movie came out. You can watch it whenever. Yeah. Yeah, Clutch is, Clutch is working in Spanish right now. It's back. He's got it backwards. It's not movies when you were a kid. It's kids' movies. <laughs> so, no, no. Yeah, so, so you're five years old watching Bad Boys. Man, a lot of different movies, though. I've seen The, the Warriors, another oh, classic movie, too. That Love movie came out in the right 80s. There. I know, I know. Or but 70s even, right? 70s? Certain particular 70s? movies. Um, Jurassic Park, I've seen Jurassic Park. And then you go to like kid movies too, because we had kids, I had a lot of cousins growing up too, right? So we had Little Giants playing in the little house. Little Giants, or, or, that's as white as it comes. Little, little rascals, rascals is as white as it comes. One, you know? I had some white movies, but it's like the, the, the main genre ones, you know? Like the, all these extra movies, I feel like you guys are saying, I don't know. Thing, you know? Both, both and of them we, were and, on TV like all the time. Little, and little we had it on repeat, on you know? That was another thing too. We always had it on repeat. The Sandlot. The Sandlot. The That's Sandlot? Another, another great movie I saw. I love Sandlot. Goofy movie is... Goofy yo, movie. Listen, oh Powerline... Powerline is still on my list of songs. Like, the, the soundtrack to a Goofy movie. Powerline is still literally fucking... Uh, in my playlist. Stand Out. Eye to Eye. Come on, you don't know those songs? From Goofy you movie? Think, I was thinking about this. The Sandlot, the Sandlot didn't even count. 
Why? Roger Rabbit, Roger Rabbit. I'm that's a sorry. 50s movie. I grew up on a... That's Bear like, Ray. that's Americana. Well, that's count. 50s Americana. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying it shouldn't count for clutch, like... I feel like Spanish people definitely seen the, Sp- the Sandlot. It's about baseball. Oh, the Sandlot, dude. My neighbors yeah. were from the Bronx, the Bronx. <laughs> and they loved... The, the main character was Benny Rodriguez. Uh, ah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Benny the Jet. Benny the Jet Rodriguez, yeah. My my neighbors oh, growing up good. were from uh, from the Bronx. They moved from the Bronx to the, uh, you know, up north to the, to the, <laughs> to the sticks. And... Uh, they watched the Sandlot the constantly. They loved the, the Sandlot. That was a good I one. I always That's found them. Right? He, um, you play ball like a balls. girl. Right. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> who framed... Turns in the toilet. Who framed... <laughs> you like it. Who framed Roger Rad- Rabbit with... Um, That's a good one. With That's the little guy one. and Christopher Lloyd. I forget what that guy's <laughs> name was. But Christopher Lloyd played the bad guy. And in Cool World, that was Brad Pitt. And they just remade that movie, I think, Cool World. All right. You know it's a classic that I love? Cool World? Cool. No, Cool Runnings. Cool Runnings, yeah. My grandmother uh, put me onto that movie when I was growing up. That was good stuff. <laughs> There's a lot of funny shit in that movie. Good run. No. You went out my way, Bogan. You went out my way. No. <laughs> so what if I draw a line down your head and make it look like a butt? <laughs> <laughs> well, on Cool Runnings, he said... <laughs> he, he said, didn't what he, if I didn't draw he have a line down your head? <laughs> didn't he have, like, an egg or something? Uh, like a. Oh yeah, he kept the egg in his pants. He kept the egg in his like pocket. As long as it didn't break. Like as long as it didn't break, he was fine. My lucky egg. Yeah, it was his lucky egg. Yeah. He also said, and my grandmother <laughs> used to laugh so hard at the part where they were like, "Sanka, you dead man." He was like, "Yeah, man." <laughs> <laughs> right? He was like, "Sanka, you dead." Yeah. When they pulled up in when they pulled up in Canada, they all get off the plane. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking in his bag. Yeah, and shit. It's icicles on his beard. Oh man, you've never seen Cool Runnings, Clutch? No, Bo, no. <laughs> you have to watch this. It's probably not. It's probably not a movie like, I have to watch. When is that? What is that from? That Apparently. might be in the eighties, no? Or really early nineties? Cool Runnings was ninety one. 91? I would say it had to be really early 90s, but possibly the 80s. I don't remember. 1990, 91, 92, I'd say. In in that three-year range. 93. Did I say 91, 92, 93? 2, 93, yeah. So it was in there somewhere. Um, Listen, they had a lot of bangers coming out in the 90s, man. A lot of bangers came out in the 90s. Bad Boys was, without a doubt, one of the best movies ever. Heat with Al Pacino and Val Kilmer. Um, Scarface. Scarface came out in the uh, 80s, though. It was 80s, right? Yeah. Good. Close. We'll Scarface have to do, too. We'll have to do a classic movie marathon one of these days. Um, There's so many. But Yo, Carnage, but, bring me for it. But in the <laughs> 90s, right, there was Heat. Um, Casino, Goodfellas, um, 